Happy Friday, y'all. I hope it was a great week. Here comes Sadie, and she's probably going to hit the tripod. Well, she bypassed it. Um, yeah, um, yes, I'm talking about you. So I don't know what's going on with the weather. It's been like 80 degrees the last two days, and now it's starting to get kind of cold, isn't it? All right, um, so a little bit of progress this week. I watch uh, some more on these two squirrels. I'm really trying to get it done for the end of heart hunt, but um, they're turning out pretty cute. So just a little bit more for these two. And um, this week I had two major studio projects due. And um, so really those two took precedence, but I also have to work on the next studio project, so I was again trying out some different things with some abstract that I'll do on a much larger scale with with oil paints. And um, man, this looks more like something I did when I was about four. So I don't know. Uh, something with a little bit more thought behind the uh, the coloring here. Um, I, I actually like way these colors play so I might try to do something like that and add in some some more uh, highlights and, and some depth to it and see what happens. So again trying out and trying to do something different, more abstract things. So that's all I have over here. So um, let's cut out and see the, the two pieces that I had to work on for deadlines this week. So I'll see y'all in a sec. Heading on over to the studio. Hello, Sadie. Say hello to everyone. Well, she's just gonna hang out over there. All right, so the first one I had to do, which I'd started last week, was this thing I call Pollination Station. And I turned it in without that butterfly there. In fact, um, if we pull in really close here, all of these flowers, um, you might be able to see just how thick those are on here. So every one of them has some extreme definition to it. And we've got a three-dimensional bee over here. And all of the flowers, again, are elevated off the page. So, um, I did that whole thing really scrambling to get this one done and today I put on the butterfly so this little monarch it it's um it still is a little bit uh, wet with that gesso there but I, I painted over it anyway which doesn't really matter because I often mix the paint in with the gesso I just wanted you to get a feel for it so that one I have to go back definitely need some more coat um, on there before I can add the real details for that butterfly but it should pick up uh, the orange from some of the, the flowers and then I gotta finish painting the sides and that will be done that was a lot of work and then of course I have this horse wolf and owl and this was something that had to be turned in Thursday by 11.30 a.m. And I was up super early in the morning trying to finish it up. Right, Sadie? And Sadie was right here with me. There's the owl up there, the little barred owl. And my wolf and my horse. So yeah, there's some coloration things I have to fix still. But there was a theme behind this one, and that was that they're looking off to the distance so if you think about this sunrise coming up, I'm looking off to the future, what's going to happen to the planet. This is a conservation painting and thinking about how fragile the planet is. And when you start going farther and farther away from the image, Sadie's adding a little shadow there. And then if I start going farther and farther, they, they start to disappear and it begins to look like the horse might be some old wood stump and the wolf a rock. 
and the trees are disappearing into the background. So that was a unintentional, but has a really a deeper hidden meaning, right, Sadie? And the funny thing was, I went on a walk after I turned this thing in, and uh, saw a barred owl for real. I did. Yeah, and Sadie was down here with me the whole time I painted this. You were, and um, so I will share that picture after we sign off. So say bye bye, Sadie. Say bye bye. Well, we'll see y'all next time.